Could Peter Crouch be the meta in FIFA 23? I'm going to be honest, when I normally do player reviews, I normally talk about the player, then use him, then obviously do the quote-unquote review. However, I've already tried this card out a little bit, and surprisingly, so far, so good. Eight goals in three games, and honestly, he's been a monster in games, so I'm looking forward to showing you guys what this guy is capable of. I can't get it out of my head, though, that looking at this card, it just reminds me so much of his record breaker, which I think was in FIFA 15, sometime around there. But yeah, anyway, let's get into the footage, and let's see what this card offers in game. Right, let's see what defenders we are going to be putting Crouch up against first. It's a good back line, Diego Carlos and Akanji. Nice. Well, a chance for a cross, and Crouch will win the header, and straight away, you can see our game plan. Chance. In your fans, Peter Crouch, who goes for the finesse, good save there from Mendy. Sterling delivers, chance for Crouch, who goes for the header, sadly not converted. Nice. Saw the run from Crouch. Left-footed strike, he won't be denied on this occasion, and he powers home for his first goal. Look how quick he's sprinting. How quick was that celebration? He can't sprint like that in game. That was wild, but there we go. On the score sheet, left foot strike, keeper given no chance. One of the benefits of having a striker this big should be that the fact we can just win every header from goal kicks to keep possession, which is a good idea in theory, but when you're a horrible passer like me, you can also create chances for opposition, which then gets saved by your left back. But uh, yeah, a better player wouldn't have lost the ball there. Nice bit of link up there. And if we're in FIFA 22, Ronaldinho is away, but we're not. We're in FIFA 23, and Peter Crouch, oh, he's just offside. Oh, nice. That's the advantage of them really long legs, just reaching out to get that ball. Nice. And we score a goal off it as well. Good run making there from Peter Crouch. And a tidy finish too. He is. Oh, hit the post. But we'll score the rebound. I didn't see who was on side there. I thought he was going to be off. Oh! Imagine that went in. Imagine that went in. It's a good run in behind there, but just lacking the pace. The idea was right with the run, and that was a completely automatic run. Um, but unfortunately, obviously, lacking in the pace department to get on the end of it. Chance for Crouch. Oh, what a finish into the far side of the net. Lovely pullback and a very, very tidy finish from Peter Crouch. Oh, he's done two. Left footed strike. Oh, he's hit the bar. That would have been an incredible game. Uh, incredible way, sorry, to wrap this game up. Full time and Crouch is collecting the match ball. Who would have seen that coming? Nice. Put a link up here. Full team linking up really nicely. Balls whipped into the box. Comes to Crouch and Crouch scores. Another fast start for us. And a brilliant opening for Peter Crouch. What a great team goal. Sterling goes for the early delivery. Crouch is there with a the header, but sadly just couldn't get enough power on that one. Coming in, Crouch, keepers off his line. Oh, he had a man there. That's a shame. Nice. Good run there. Got a bit of space here, you know. Let's go for it. Oh, good effort. Oh, how is Saka missing that? 2 1 up at the break. Definitely should have been 3 1, but uh, yeah, it is what it is. Let's do this. Second half coming right up. Come on, Crouchy. Oh, come on, Crouchy. Show, showing off his strength there to hold off the would-be defender. Keeps possession as well. Fair play to him. And then unleashes a power strike into the back of the net. Look at this. I don't know what he's doing with his defender, to be fair. He's probably made a bit of a mistake. But you've got to give credit to Crouch because on the 10, players do not feel good this year. And he's done that and scored. Chance from distance. Oh, he's hit the post. And ugh, I pressed shoot miles earlier there, and the player just didn't react. Chance. What a goal! 
Oh, what a goal. Brilliant touch from Crouch. Turns and shoots. What a lovely goal this is. Look at this on the chest. Weird animation, but you know what? We'll take it. Okay, this is getting ridiculous now. This is getting ridiculous now. I didn't even time that well. And it's just gone into the back of the net. He's running right in this game. He's completely, completely taken over in a bit of open space. I thought, you know what? We're so far ahead. Let's just go for it. And look at the accuracy on that. He is ping that. Oh, crouchy. End the game with possession. That's what you're useful for. We can just hoof it up to you and you can win us the ball no matter what. So 6-3 uh, scoreline to end that one. Who saw that coming? And also, who saw Peter Crouch getting another match ball? Crouch and Ronaldinho linking up. Oh, should have scored that. Should have at least got that on target. Crouchy. Oh. Interesting chance. Crouch. Is he going to score here? Oh, what a save that is. Tried to put it fast hard. Of the goal. There's a chance. Oh, what a tackle. Fair play. And we'll score it anyway. <laughs> what a tidy finish from Sterling. Ooh, in form Ericsson. Let's do this. Let's da -da 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 do this. Ball swept in. Here's a chance. Oh, he went for the acrobatic. Oh, Crouch, he scored. The, p the pace just wasn't there on the, on the ball, so I didn't think it was going in, but very accurate header. Ends up in the back of the net. This will be interesting. I think this is close. That's a tough angle, but you know what? He's made Ramsdale make a good save. What a strike. What a strike from Crouch to bring us level. Tough game, this one. But uh, Crouch is bringing us back in it. Look at this. On the 10. Lovely finesse around Ramsdale. Good call of half-time referee because it has definitely been through. chance oh i was actually amazed it got through to him and once again i as a player have bottled it by panic shooting saka crouch there we go there's the goal that puts us ahead beautiful counter-attacking play that truly was a brilliant brilliant win and once again another match ball for peter crouch he's just scoring he's just scoring sorry such a good range of goals and you saw at the end came up with the goods to win us this match all right so game's done and as you saw crouch was a beast and i'll say straight away he's definitely the most fun forward i've used so far this year on fifa 23 he was just enjoyable to use and he was enjoyable not just because it's a bit of a novelty card, but also because he was effective in game, which honestly I wasn't surprised in. Like if this card was in FIFA 22, it would have been horrible. Probably this card right from the off and would have been all year long. However, in this year's game where the gameplay is so much slower, so, so much slower, cards like these might have a use and maybe some longevity. I think he's great for this stage of the game. He really, really is. Um, I do want to show you guys the tactics that I use just because I found them to be quite effective with this card. It's nothing incredible and I definitely do not claim to be, you know, a great player when it comes to, you know, the tactics and stuff like that. But this is what I used. Just kept him on stay central and stay forward and it worked for me. He was banging in goals every single game and if he wasn't scoring goals, he was in the involvement of others. Really, really good item in my opinion. Definitely try this card out if you can afford to do so. Alright, before we end, let's break this card down. What did we make of the different attributes? When I first started this video, I thought I was going to end the video by saying the pace sucks and the dribbling really hurts him. But honestly, they weren't that bad. The pace was much better than I expected it to be. I know I've got a Hunter Kemp style on him, but that definitely helps. He's not rapid, but he's definitely not slow. And you saw in the footage him get past the defenders, which is great. And then we come on to the dribbling and... Ultimately, with dribbling, left stick dribbling not being that effective this year, his dribbling not being that great isn't as big of a concern as it would have been in a previous FIFA. Now, obviously, if EA dropped this patch and dribbling suddenly becomes, you know, the main meta again, 
then you know things could change but right now with the gameplay as it is this card is more than usable it really really is and also the fact that he's got good strength he can just be used for hold up play so you don't have to try and take someone on you can just use him you know as a target man so dribbling although it's nothing special it's actually usable which it definitely wouldn't have been in FIFA 22 and um, shooting was class to be honest the guy's definitely an out and out finisher right foot head he's gonna score you goals like he really really is and as you saw for me scored some important ones as well i thought his passing was good enough for this stage of the game too and obviously the physicals are very very nice he's got a great aerial ability and he's obviously a player that you know you can just hoof the ball up to but as you also saw in the footage he's got good run making ability and you can actually go over the top with him or through ball it to him and you can actually get him behind like that which once I'll, once again I'll say it you couldn't have done that on a previous FIFA so yeah surprising surprisingly very good so that's going to do us for this video on the 85 rated Peter Crouch. I'm actually kind of interested to see what his World Cup item is going to be like now in game. So I'll definitely try that out when it drops. Hopefully it feels just, you know, like a much improved version of this. Maybe just a faster, better dribbler version. Hopefully that'll come. Um, anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. If you have, drop a like rating on it. If you've used this card, let me know how it was for you in the comments. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.